Hi, my name is Greg Sprunk. I'm the owner of Superior Cleaning Equipment. We are the uh, water maze dealer, exclusive dealer in the Arizona and uh, Southern California I have stores in Phoenix and San Diego. We're out here on uh, our newest installation uh, for a private uh, turf maintenance facility, private country club in Scottsdale, Arizona that we just got done replacing an older system of ours, about 10 years old with the newer style water maze CLB uh, system, closed loop, completely recycled uh, with using uh, Water base CLB 603, CLT 300 and 600, uh, along with Landa, 1,000 psi, 2.8 gallon a minute uh, cold water pressure washers to uh, clean off the turf maintenance equipment. As you can see, kind of uh, from the from the design and the layout, we're using uh, pressure washers to wash off the turf maintenance equipment instead of water hoses. Um, the advantage of that is you're using about 2.8 about 8 to 10 gallons a minute per water hose. Um, so in a biological system, this CLB system is a bio system. And what that means is that we use uh, aeration and microbes to uh, treat the water. And uh, if you want to kind of you know step out a little bit, you can see this is a typical turf wash pad. We designed this wash pad to where um, you've got about a two foot wide trench by two foot deep. solids to settle out in here like sand, uh, any kind of a dirt load in there, and then we want the uh, and, and grass clippings from the uh, from the washing off of the equipment, they'll float. So we've got the weirs in here, basically what happens is the, the water flows all the way into here, and runs gravity feeds from here, and uh, what happens is we've got a grass cart and a hydro screen here. This is a pretty cool deal, it's uh, exclusive to Water Maze, it's all stainless steel. Um, this is a, uh, a basically a heavy duty cart, as you can see it's uh, uh, reinforced with the, with the bladder and a stainless steel screen in it. And what happens is the water, once it reaches a certain level, with the grass clippings in it, pumps up into this hydro screen, and the hydro screen sloughs off the grass clippings into this container, and then the rest of the water falls into this first tank, which is the CLT 300 tank, and if you can look inside here, on this cart, you can see where the grass clippings are separated out along with some other debris, which is a pretty cool uh, way. Because if this if this would go on through the system or go on to the sewer or through a three-stage interceptor, because it's organic, because it's grass clippings, uh, you've got a horrible odor, you've got a high VOD content, and uh, the municipalities don't want it, and it, it stinks, and so that's why we remove them right out here on the front side, and then this, this grass cart will dry out, okay? From here, what happens is, is the, uh, the first tank is a cone bottom tank. Every one of them has got a very nice uh, cone bottom slant, so you've got a lot of separation. There's no channeling like in some of the older systems. So all of these basically auto purge or purge out uh, for maintenance and service. Um, the controlling module in a recycling system for a biological system with water maids is called the CLB603. here above ground, uh, all easy to service. And this system will then take the water, gravity feed into our, what we call our finished water tank, and this finished water tank, unlike a, like a lot of other systems as well, is ozonated. So ozonated to uh, uh, kill any bacteria or the microbes in that final water tank before being pumped back through to these three cleaning stations. So as you can tell, uh, all the stands, epoxy powder coated big paint, um, we've got uh, 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 what's called the air stick, which is the, the uh, proprietary patents uh, set.
setup that we use in this system to inject millions and millions of air bubbles. Much better than a regenerative blower, you get more air into the system. Uh, we also automatically inject our microbes in here, so we're treating this water and the water in the tank after that, and then going into the finished water tank. Um, the beauty of the, of the, of the Landa SEA, it's almost tailor-made for this kind of application. This is a factory-mounted stand, uh, also powder coat bank, real sturdy. The nice thing about uh, these pressure washers versus a water hose, clippings, solids, and water will run down to this trench drain where there's in the weirs and then they'll gravity feed into the catch basin which will then uh, take those grass clippings and, and, and uh, pieces of debris, larger pieces of debris, cigarette butts, things like that, and run them up through the uh, hydro screen and coming down. One thing I didn't mention before that's kind of cool about the way that we plumb this inside of here is that down in this catch basin where we have the sump pump, uh, we actually have plumbed this so that there's a diverter valve or a pipe that diverts around that's constantly stirring up the grass clippings and the water inside of there so nothing stays stable in there. Um, it's kind of a little bit of a plumbing trick there to make sure that the pit keeps clean and that everything comes up through that hydro screen and down into the grass cart for easy industrial wash racks. The main difference between our industrial biological systems and our turf maintenance systems is that the turf maintenance system has this grass cart hydro screen and small CLT 300 uh, with that mounting attachment for the hydro screen built right on it. So if you take this particular part of the system out and you go with the CLV 603 and some other components, you can make uh, basically an industrial uh, system that we've used in other facilities we sell those systems quite a bit for heavy equipment, for uh, construction, ag industry, um, uh, the sanitation industry, things like that. So we're very, very uh, pleased with the biological systems uh, versus some of the older uh, mechanical filtration systems out there. One thing that's really nice about this system, there's no filters, no cartridge filters, no carbon filters, no media filters, nothing to maintain. Um, kind of a minimum amount of pumps. All you really need to have is about $100 worth of uh, consumables a month that are automatically injected in nightly. Uh, very, very cost-effective system, and the quality of water at the end uh, is incredible. Uh, so uh, Water Maze has, uh, has done a phenomenal job on this equipment. Land, of course, on the side. We're very pleased with the way that it turned out. Uh, we hope when you design your wash rack, and you're looking uh, almost at any kind of a cleaning operation, uh, closed loop, sewer discharge, things of that nature that you call, uh, call us at Superior Cleaning Equipment. Uh, we sell and service this equipment all over the country. We have uh, international accounts with companies like True Golf and Sun State Equipment, and we'd like to be your service provider, show you how our expertise can help you in solving your cleaning problems. Thanks for uh, taking the time to watch this video, and appreciate your business.